midnight. They say the eyes are the gateway to the soul, but I say the mouth is the gateway to the words. Let's do the talk show portion. I have cards now. <laughs> Vinny, you have a snake. <laughs> Why? First, before I get into it, I just want to say I'm just like the rest of you. <laughs> it's normal. weird because I would have expected Jack to have a snake before you. Jack is I a several. snake, which is different. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was nice. It was in jest. I have a snake. Her name is Mrs. Gutierrez. She lives in a small terrarium in my apartment. <laughs> See, very cute, very yeah. Cute. How big is the snake? She's about three and a half feet long. Oh my God. Yeah, she's a big girl. <laughs> she's real healthy. I feed her great. Mice. Really? Yeah. Dead mice? Yeah, 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 thank God. What? Yeah, you, yeah, I keep them in my freezer. Wow, all right. <laughs> the card says no more snake talk. <laughs> Obviously you're a very successful comedian and actor, but yes, absolutely. Uh, what was your first job in show business, Vinny? Uh, it was a, it was a internet Takis commercial. <laughs> uh, and I actually can't look at Takis anymore because I had to eat so many of those bad boys. <laughs> um, and, and, oh God, that, the, the shoot was crazy. They had a wind machine going, but it wasn't really a wind machine. It was just the leaf blower. <laughs> and so I was sitting there and they turn on the leaf blower and my contact flies out of my eye. <laughs> And so I was on all fours around the set trying to find my contact. And they were like, time, time is money. That's my, they didn't really say that. <laughs> That's what it felt like. And so I'm freaking out and I had to go put it in in the bathroom. And... Oh. Did you ever see the commercial? Cause this sounds so made up. No, 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 yeah. it's real. Uh, Taki is a kind of chip, that little, <laughs> it's like a spicy rolled up. Did I you... only eat boring lays, sorry. <laughs> I I'm sorry, all I can think about is the dead mice in your fridge. <laughs> Because you're a little hungry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maggie, you're currently taking your solo show, Marguerite, across the country. Yeah. For those who might not be as familiar with your work, what's the vibe of the show? OK, the vibe of the show is like a Midwest girl just kind of begging you to laugh at her, please. <laughs> please come, or else my parents are going to be upset. <laughs> That's really nice, yeah. actually. What, where, where are you next? Where are you performing next? Um, it, the first one is in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Joe Biden, please come. <laughs> uh, Philly, San Francisco, Seattle, Portland. Wow. Yeah. Those are just cities. I'm not going there. <laughs> those are just cities we like. I just like those cities. <laughs> and you just had a birthday, according to my cards? <laughs> yesterday. Yes. Oh, was it yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Did you do anything to celebrate, or are you like not a I birthday love birthdays. person? I went to Disneyland, oh. and wait, I lost my phone on the Indiana Jones ride. Oh. So if you ride that ride, there's a new little treasure there. <laughs> uh, Jack, you're in an upcoming Nancy Kerrigan audio series called Fire and Ice. Do you have anything else fun you'd like to promote? I have something uh, really funny for you, actually, um, that I wanted to promote on here. I almost died two years ago. Oh my God. Uh, and it was from a rare birth defect called intestinal malrotation. And it's when, uh, what can happen is your intestines twist in what's called a volvulus. And I survived this four times and I was misdiagnosed every time. And the only reason I survived is basically because we pushed and kept asking and then I had surgery that saved my life. And so since then, I've been trying to start a charity because there aren't really any that exist. And just recently, I partnered with the Children's Hospital in LA, and uh, they're going to start a fundraiser where if we hit 125K, they will create a fellow for this. Wow. That's amazing. Holy shit. All the hypochondriacs in here are freaking out right now. <laughs> they heard misdiagnosed be. four times, almost died, and they're like, oh, <laughs> but seriously, what were the symptoms? Um, <laughs> not no, much on Jack, but I did lose my phone yesterday. <laughs> uh, and I will say, this is news to me because I always thought volvulus was just a transformer, but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's both. Back yeah. It's both. Guy talk. Wow, holy it's I'm glad. Talk. I'm glad Jack went last. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so wow, so you're obviously a good person who is going to heaven. Um, can you tell us one horrible thing you've done? Absolutely, Taylor. Uh, 
When I was a freshman in college, I found this app that let you spoof your phone number. And uh, me and my sister share each other's location. And I uh, texted her pretending to be a serial killer. And I said, I'm outside your building. And I had the address, because I had her location. And I said, I'm watching you. And she started getting really freaking out. And I was laughing so hard. And then she said, I'm going to call the police. And then I got felt so bad. And uh, yeah, I still feel bad to this day, actually. <laughs> And that's why you started a charity. Yeah, yeah, that's why I started a charity. Oh my God, that was like such a well-balanced talk show portion for yeah. you, where the first half we were so on your side and then you just lost all of us.